With the most recent update came several buffs as well as several nerfs and did a bit of a shift to the most effective support weapons available in the game. This becomes even more noticeable in solo play, seeing how you don't have teammates to cover up for your loadout's weaknesses. With the update, we've seen the railgun get absolutely obliterated, receiving a double nerf. Not only is it bad now at safe mode, but even on safe mode had its damage drastically reduced, which when we're dealing with multiple charges and bio titans, becomes very noticeable. Personally, I don't think the double nerf was necessary, maybe just one of the two would have been enough to shift around player's interest, but that's not the topic of this video. Two different support weapons quickly raised from the shadows and said, here Railgun, I'll take your place, and these being the flamethrower and the arc thrower. Do note we'll be speaking mostly about the terminated faction, as my extensive testing has been done there. Also, this video is not to say that the arc thrower and the flamethrower are simply better than the other choices available, such as the auto cannon or the expendable anti-tank, this video's intent is to compare the two most popular terminated support weapons since the update. But let's break these two support weapons down into four different segments. How do they fare against swarms, against chargers, against bio titans, and overall performance? Firstly, which performs best against large swarms, including hunters, pouncers, warriors, etc. Basically, which one is best at crowd control? First, let's talk about the flamethrower. The flamethrower looks like a weapon that would shine against the ever-growing numbers of hunters, but after several encounters, it quickly became clear that the flamethrower wasn't handling hunters very well, which was surprising to me at first. That's not to say you can't kill a hunter fairly quickly with the fire, but the problem is that the hunters will try to surround you, taking away your focused fire from the primary group, and will have you swing in your flames around, ineffectively damaging units as the jumpers jump on you and start hitting you. And not just that, but it ends up making you light yourself on fire sometimes, more often than not, leading to a guaranteed death. I found better success to put away the flamethrower and using a primary weapon to deal with the side strafing hunters, and only bringing back the flamethrower once the hunter threat was diminished and I could once again focus fire on the primary swarm group. For every other small to medium unit, the flamethrower works wonders, with the exception of pouncers, which suffer from the same issue as the hunters. And the broad commanders might take a little bit too long to kill, so you may prefer to use your primary on them. The arc thrower, on the other hand, has nearly no downsides at dealing with swarms. From a range, the arc thrower will effectively kill any small to medium sized units with pretty much one hit, and since it bounces around target, oftentimes you end up killing way more than you even expected. When you focus fire on a swarm group, it'll bounce around clearing all the little targets with little effort. It can as well one hit the brute commander's head off, which is absolutely fantastic. The only downside I found for the swarm control is once again the pesky hunters, because once they reach you, oftentimes your arc thrower won't charge up fast enough for you to kill the group of hunters that are in your face and that will lead you to your death. If the hunters are nearly at melee range to you, I recommend changing to the primary weapon and getting rid of them before it's too late. So what about dealing with chargers? Since the railgun nerf, these feel dramatically harder to deal with than what they used to feel. Or do they? Let's start with the arc thrower since we were already on it. Arc thrower lovers, forgive me, but the arc thrower is pretty shit at dealing with chargers. Okay, maybe pretty shit's a bit of an exaggeration, but it's definitely not ideal. The arc thrower will take nearly like a dozen shots to kill a charger and when you've got two or three of them things get pretty ugly you see it's not that bad the problem is that where you aim with the arc thrower feels like merely a suggestion and the arc thrower will actually hit whatever limb it feels like and if i'm not mistaken there are different health pools and chargers and bio titans depending on where you shoot if you shoot for example the left leg five times then the right leg five times you're way worse off than you would have been if you just shot one leg 10 times. If the arc thrower would go exactly where we're aiming, this would work out a bit better, but either way, it still takes quite too long. The upside though is while you're arcing a charger down, it's also bouncing around to the weaker targets around it, clearing up the area of smaller units while you slowly tase down the charger. The flamethrower on the other hand received a massive unexpected improvement that can kill a charger in only a couple of seconds. Only using up about a quarter of your flamer tank is enough for you to take down a charger if you focus down on one of its legs. And I mean, this is so powerful that I honestly think it outperforms the railgun pre-patch. And if any Helldiver developers out there are watching this video, please don't take this as a potential nerf. Anyways, like I said, the flamethrower is able to take down a charger in just a couple of seconds, making it, in my opinion right now, 
one of the best, if not the best support stratagems in the game to combat chargers. But when you're comparing these two against chargers, the flamethrower is the clear winner. You'll just have to get used to dodging as you likely oftentimes have to dodge at least once when you're taking down a charger. And what about the bio titan? With the flamethrower, I'm not even going to waste your time. It takes far too long to take down a bio titan and you'll end up using up all of your tanks consistently exposing yourself and you still won't quite manage to take it down. And even if you do manage to pull it off once in a while, it's not going to be a very consistent way to go on about it. As for the arc thrower, it can take down the bio titans a little bit more consistently as it's able to take it down from a range. However, it's still not going to be a very effective strategy as taking down a bio titan with the arc thrower takes far too many shots. You'll spend ages shooting it, kiting it, then shooting it again. When you you could instead just use a stratagem that can take it down more effectively. So overall, out of these two support weapons, which one would I recommend for solo players? Honestly, my verdict, I think these two are at a tie. Each will have different strengths, the arc thrower being better at dealing with swarms with lots of hunters, having infinite ammo, and the flamethrower being better at dealing with chargers. Yet, both are still efficient at both of those things, one just slightly outperforms the other in their respective areas. For players that generally struggle with hunters, they'll oftentimes feel like the arc thrower will be a better choice for them. For players that generally struggle with chargers, will oftentimes feel like the flamethrower is a better choice. So really, it will come down to what you feel your personal weakness is. And you also have to take into consideration the other stratagems that you'll be bringing in along with you. For example, if you're using the flamethrower, you likely won't need to bring in any stratagems to deal with chargers. But if you're using the arc thrower, you might want to in those situations that you've got to deal with multiple chargers. And in my opinion, both weapons will require you to use stratagems to deal with the bio titans. So I still very strongly recommend utilizing the 500 kilo bombs for those big boys. For my future terminate plays, I'll likely be using a combination of both depending on the planet type and depending on where I feel my loadout lacks. So test out both, figure out your weaknesses and supply those weaknesses with the proper armaments. Both of these support weapons are at a very similar level for terminate, so opinions will vary. Thank you guys for watching, I'll catch you Helldivers in the next one. Peace.